Meatballs, I love meatballs. I mean, who doesn't? First thing though, you have to start off with really, really good meat. So I'm gonna start off with these meatballs with extra lean ground beef. Get to know your butcher, make sure he gives you the best meat that's available. And now it's about adding really good flavor. So this is a really interesting meatball recipe because I'm gonna add some ricotta cheese. I love ricotta cheese, it's nice and creamy and makes meatballs really silky. Mm and give some beautiful flavor. Now an egg. This will help bind all the ingredients together. Some salt and some pepper. And now some beautiful sun-dried tomatoes. And the sun-dried tomatoes are gonna give that really intense tomato taste. A must when you're making meatballs is cheese, parmigiano cheese, and a good grate will help bind all the ingredients together. With meatballs, it's all about imagination and adding ingredients that work and then mixing them all together. Sometimes I feel meatballs reflect people's personalities. I mean, my grandmothers used to make their meatballs completely different. My dad's mother was this tiny little lady, really sweet, and her meatballs were sweet and delicate and just had great flavor. My mom's mother was a larger woman, tougher, heavier, her meatballs were just as good. And that's what you want, a beautiful mixture. Now when I'm making my meatballs, I don't make them perfectly round. In fact, I pat them down a little so they could evenly cook. There's two ways of cooking meatballs. One is frying them, and the other way is braising them in a tomato sauce. This way the meatballs cook and the tomato sauce gets nice and flavorful. So I'm gonna show you both ways. And this is a quick sauce that takes literally minutes to make. an amazing sugo or sauce, add in your meatballs. Let that braise alongside the sauce. And a little bit of black pepper. Okay, so my sauce is done, but because the meatballs need to cook for about a half hour, I'm just gonna let them slowly braise right in the tomato sauce. Okay, so my second way of cooking meatballs is adding a little bit of olive oil and then frying them up. have some flour and I'm just going to quickly dredge the meatballs right in the flour. This way when it gets fried it will create a nice beautiful crust outside the meatball. Heat up a pan, a little bit of olive oil, not too much because that's gonna be the start of the sauce, and some garlic right in. I'm leaving it whole, this will give flavor to the olive oil. Now the meatballs And what I like to do as well is just add some sun-dried tomatoes. And once the meatballs get a beautiful crust, just flip them over. And then a splash of white wine. This will help deglaze the pan and start creating a beautiful sauce. Good splash. Lower my heat and just let the meatballs cook in the white wine for a few minutes. Mm. 